How can we lose an elephant? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and we are back with Creative Grasslands. Oh, <laughs> we have a couple of baby hippos, I believe. So this is one little baby hippo and look how cute it is hiding in the grass at the moment but yes I think I think there might be a couple when I was doing the speed build episodes um I did have a couple of notifications to say that we had had some baby hippos so I thought I purposely I'm not looking at them until you guys are with me so and they are oh god that scared me a little bit I didn't expect to see to see a massive one in under the water but look it's swimming around underneath the water which is really really cute and it's so tiny it's probably not tiny actually but compared to the other ones they are so let's have a look so we have one male which we also need to put on conception oh we've got another one here which look just look at their little face they always look really happy don't they and then we so we've got two males oh yeah maturity this is what we want okay so we're gonna put all of our peacocks on contraception so we have obviously one male hippopotamus um our exhibit animals are fine and we also have another male hippopotamus we also have a female llama we've also got three more jaguars which is great yeah we've just had a load of babies born um in a short amount of time um so we've also got some lions as well we've also got our southern cassowaries we've got a baby giraffe um just here she's running away come back look at that and it's actually it's nice to see everybody actually moving around into this other area because before they were all stuck over the other side um but they're they're actually moving around now which is really good so everybody over this side going on the ride can actually see other animals so great i thought that was a southern cassowary baby then but it's not it's an ostrich i was like oh why is this one in the wrong habitat okay let's have a little look then and see what we've got okay so we do need to get a male and female aardvark but i believe we may only need to get one male aardvark because we have got this one in the trade center so that is perfect we will remove these african buffaloes look at all the african buffaloes are all pregnant oh my gosh We'll remove this one as well they're both elderly as well so we are going to at some point have another little death wave going on um okay so what i might do is i might leave him in there cheetahs okay the cheetah mom is pregnant again and we've also got some in the trade center um what i did off camera is i just cleared out the trade center i'll show you in a moment um so you know what i mean um so we because i had so many animals in there from previous zoos and i uh, i was i was getting confused it's very easily from easily done for me to get confused so i've just popped all the animals that we weren't going to need um and they were from previous zoos onto the trade center so hopefully somebody might have bought them but that's what you see by, with the little stars Let's get rid of that anteater because they only like one anteater at a time. We've got lots of scorpions. We do need to go back and sort those out. Peacocks are fine. Jaguars. Yep. Llamas. Okay, I think everybody else is fine. Um, Platypuses, something is not quite all right with them. Is there too many? Oh, now there's not enough space. There's not enough water? Okay, hang on then. We'll sort that out. Um, yeah, this is what we kind of need to do after our speed builds. Because we, because I don't tend to look at the animals whilst I'm um, doing any kind of speed build episodes or speed decorating episodes. Um, I don't really know what's going on. So we need to come back with you guys and have a little look at them. So let's say it all, send all those animals to the trade center that we don't necessarily need. Now, let's have a look at our platypus. Now, it seems like we don't have enough hard shelter space because there is so many of them because they breed really quickly. Um, how many animals do we have in here? Does it tell us if we go on into any of these animals? Yeah, 
two meters deep. Is that because they're it's out, they were fine though, right? Insufficient crowding. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's go over to the Zoopedia. Um and have a look. So platypus. Let's just see what's happening. One male, two females. Yeah, so we have two two mums and a dad, so that's fine. It's just they've had quite a lot of babies and now there's not enough water for them to navigate, but there should be. Let's just double check on the transversible area for our animals. See, yeah, they can swim everywhere. Maybe it's just not deep enough. Well, maybe it might help then if once the babies kind of grow up. Okay, anyway. So we've gone through and we've sorted out our animals. Good. I feel like that was a little bit chaotic for the first start of the episode. So you guys all right? How are you? What have you been up to? It is bank holiday in the UK today because it is the Queen's 70th Jubilee uh, or the Platinum, pla yeah, Platinum Jubilee for 70 years on the throne. So we've got a bank holiday today, which is fantastic. Um, right, so. What do we want to do in this episode? I do need to get a male iguana and a female, no, a male aardvark. So let's do that. So let's see. A male iguana, look, there's one right here, perfect. So send to zoo. Now, this is where we just need to find out where the male iguana lives. Is it there? No, oh, that's the trade center. No, okay, is it you? Nope. Is it you? Yes, iguana. Right, okay, that's perfect. Right, so that's done. Now let's get a male aardvark and then we'll pop them in the trade center ready for when our female is ready. So we've got this one here. That's not too bad. That one's quite good, but immunity is quite low. That one's good overall. Um, and then that's just a crocodile. Okay, so we haven't got that much. Maybe this one. Immunity is 100%, but it is 33. Okay, I think we might get this one. What I did is, you can see in all of the locations, all, of, all the kinds of like the different zoos that we have. Now, we don't need to keep any, hardly any of these, apart from the ones with like the little stars next to them are the ones that I'm gonna keep um, to maybe use in um, a couple of different zoos or something, or maybe just it would just be nice to have. Um, but the rest of them, I think we need to put on the Trade Center. So we've got some research. The speckled caiman, or spectacled. I keep saying speckled, but it's not, is it? It's spectacled. So we have a pretty big zoo at the moment, which is great. We haven't got any kind of congestion anywhere. I think definitely putting in that little bit of path there really, really helped. So that is great. The guests are kind of thinning out the further up we go, um, except when you get up to here into the ride area but overall we are doing really really well we put in our little boating lake obviously we don't expect people to be kind of coming up here because it is just a little photo opportunity they obviously can't use it oh the cheetah is going to have the offspring so oh no what's with all the rubbish hang on a second let's put some bins uh where are the bins in here so let's put some bins up here. So they're coming off the ride, look, and they're dropping all their litter all on the floor. That's not good, is it? So we'll put a bin there. And we'll put a bin there. And we'll put another bin just on the outside. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to put another bin there. So what we aim to do is we're going to come up here get rid of this bin because we don't need it now and then in this area here we have kind of like a little picnic area where they can come and they can eat their lunch or just generally have a bit of a sit down if you don't want to have your picnic on the licks 
So we could put some more food and drink in this area perhaps at some point, maybe kind of coming off of here a little bit, but we shall see. And then you can kind of come up here and this is where you're gonna be entering into the African elephant, the white rhinos and the two bears that we're gonna put in. Um, so this is going to be our last area. And then you can kind of walk on round and there's a massive dip in this pavement. So hopefully that's not gonna be a trip hazard to anybody. And then you can go down and then you can go into the wet water zone. Yeah, so overall we have got a nice kind of walk around zoo really like you can literally do a big circle of the zoo which is great or you can get the monorail around but yeah if you look at it from over here can you can you remember how far we've come like look how far we've come it's, it's great anyway let's stop yabbering on let's talk about our new area so we have to fit in african elephants white rhinos and two bears into this episode no into this area. Let's actually start off with our African elephants, I think. First of all though, should we go and see if the cheetahs had the baby? Where is the cheetah? Oh, they did! Oh, quick! We've had two babies, two baby cheetahs. Oh, guys, we, and does that mean we've got a white cheetah? Is that, is that right? I think so. Oh, look. Whoops. Oh, they're playing. That's so cute. Let's get rid of that so you can actually see. Look. Oh, wow. We did have two. So where's the other one then? Well, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you are, you are, you are right. They have got different colour in. Um, so we've got a spotty... Um, cheetah there but then we also have I'm, I'm not sure too sure whether or not the correct term would be an albino one but cool I've, I've never seen one without any spots before let me know in the comments down below if you have if you have um I've never seen one in game before so that that's that's great I think we're definitely definitely keep, hold on to this one so let's go to maturity and we're going to put these on here African elephants. There. Okay. None? There's none? Are you... Oh, right. Conservation. I turned conservation off. I was going to say, in the entire planet of Planet Zoo, there's no elephants. So we are going to be using some conservation credits, so that's fine. Now, let's have a look into Zoopedia and see... Okay, so we can have one male and up to 14 females. So do we go with one male and two females, which is kind of like our theme at the moment? They do take ages to have their babies, don't they? Um, they it takes almost two months. Uh, two months? Two years. Okay. And it cannot go into um, habitat with anybody else. They are endangered, okay, so we may be seeing these animals in our endangered zoo, so that'll be fantastic. Maybe if they do have babies, maybe we could use the babies in our in our um, endangered zoo, I don't know. So let's have a look. Oh, how many babies can they have, actually? I didn't look at that, did I? Um, one, okay. So we can go over here. So three adults and possibly two babies oh my gosh they're gonna need a lot of space right okay so we need one male and two females so okay that one is 17 percent. So we don't need that one or that one. Oh no why do our males have such bad fertility okay right we'll get this one and maybe this one i don't really want to get a low fertility male though Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll build the habitat and then we'll come back.
Okay everybody, we have now finished the African elephant habitat and I think it is looking really good. <laughs> that was loud. Um, yeah, so we have their um, natural kind of covered area, sheltered area. Um, we have like little games for them, the skittles, the tires, um, their little feeding kind of area. So you've got your uh, barrel feeder, you've got a, um, a spreader feeder, I think this is called. They just twirl it around with their trunk and the food goes everywhere. Got another little uh, food barrel there. We've got loads of different things for them, which is great. Um, so this is our female. We've got our male in the background just there. And we also have, oops, sorry, it's gone a bit dark. Hang on. Yes, so here they all are all together. I've just sped on time a little bit so you can actually see what we're talking about. Um, so we've got a female over there, we've got a male here, and we've also got another female. And this is their habitat. So very nice big habitat. So um, we have, um, obviously the guests can have nice big windowed viewing area just along here. I will probably put something over the top um, for a kind of like shelter wise. Um, again, their food. Oh, I didn't put in a white water pipe. Okay, I'll have to do that in a second. They have their kind of little water splash area. So I put in two, um, what are these called? Sprinklers, two sprinklers. They also have their little rubbing pipe. Rubbing pipe? It's not a pipe, is it? Pillar, <laughs> rubbing pillar. And then they have their water area as well. So they can go and swim. So they can walk through this in straight down into the water area here. I might put in some kind of like um, water so it looks like it's actually running down. I might do that. And then this is their main water area with some pipes as well. We have just decorated everything so they can go in there and they can do whatever they like. They can go swimming or they can just have a nice little soak. So here, I'm hoping the guests will be all right with this. I don't know whether to not, to higher up the barrier a little bit hopefully no one's going to fall in with the elephants but yeah they can have a, the guests can have a really nice view of the elephants in the water and they can walk on up and they can have a look whilst they're on dry land so let's put in the water pipe a second before we forget so i think maybe let's go with this one i don't i'm assuming they would be fine with, the, with this water pipe, I guess. We can always change it if they're not. And we do need to put in some lights as well. Um, we need to find the lampposts that they were. So let's put in some lamps for them. So one there. Can we do this? Like put this on top and then lower it down, I wonder. Yes, we can. Okay, so that'd be quite good. Let's do that in this one here. Oh my gosh, it's really quite fiddly. Looking good. So yeah, we haven't obviously had any um, kind of inkling of mating at the moment because we have literally just put them in. Um, but hopefully soon, we might have some little baby African elephants. We need to name them as well. But there and where is the other one gone did the other one go how can we lose an elephant where did it go guys can you see the other elephant oh this is really dark in here no so it's not in there where's the other elephant oh oh my god it's right there <gasps> goodness me right let's put this one here. I was going to say, how on earth did we manage to lose an elephant? Perfect. Look at them, all happy. Fantastic. So, I think I'm going to call this episode a day. I may put stones down there eventually, like rocks. Let me know if you think we should, or we should just leave it like that. You guys let me know. Um, have a think about any kind of shelter ideas over here. Do we use try to use something like fabric, like we have over the other side of the zoo? Do we do, use something maybe maybe made of wood? Do we incorporate this kind of wood to here? I'm not sure. Let me know. And I think the next episode is going to be the white rhino episode. So please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. 
and leave some comments down below have a think about what animals you would like to start with in season two which is our endangered species zoo think of a name and um yeah i will catch you in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye